so I got the new thermocouple in. It's actually, uh, I put kale wool in between it to stop, you know, to stop up the hole, but it's thicker. You can see in there, it's got uh, ceramic around it. It's got the two posts down and ceramic. So it should be better. It goes up to 2,500, which my PID only goes up to 2,300. Also, a few things I want to go over again, because when I was doing the wiring, I kind of messed it up. I got to be careful because this is hot. I got it plugged in. The 10, the 12 volt wire, the 12 volt wire comes in here and taps off and one goes to one light, one goes to the other light. This is off the PID, so it turns it on and turns it off. One light, the other light. For here, you've got neutral out and positive out. These go to the relay. One goes to the switch. So this one goes to the switch, the switch turns off. I mean, this goes to the switch, the switch turns on. This side is negative, goes to the negative side of the switch and also goes to the light. When you kick the switch over, the light turns on and the relay turns on. See, and the green is negative and the black is positive. I got that wrong when I explained it last time. And then of course here, the green goes to negative and the black goes to positive. I, I just called it hot and I called it, I called one hot and one, and then that's it. But it's not, the green is negative and the black is positive. Now the white and the black are hot coming off the back side. Another thing I did is I put this on here. It's like a rope. It's made just for, you know, stopping the uh, oven. So now it's all nice and tight. So hopefully that will make it better. Now when you auto tune, when you put a new thermocouple in, you're gonna have to auto tune it. So you hit step and you hold step. Alarm, then you wanna go up to HY, auto tune right there, and you go down to two. You're gonna have to go through your book for the rest of the stuff. 1500 is about where I do everything. So step two, timing, step three, we'll just keep it at 1500. Then you let it sit and then go. All right, let me see if the thermal couple's backwards. It's the only thing I can think of. All right, you won't believe what I just did. I was taking this out, out of the oven, and these two dropped, and I went wham and grabbed it. Man, it burned right across all three fingers. So here's some high temperature wire I have left over from the build. See, the two thermal couples come up through, and they come into here and lock in. And then you put the wires through here. Now, if you ever hook up a uh, positive, negative, sensitive wire and the temp starts going down instead of up, just switch the leads over. All right, now I'm gonna show you how I put this in there. So, oh, <laughs> even better. <laughs> and these only seem to go in one way. So, whew. Man, that ceramic stays hot. It's still hot. Oh, I know why, because it's still been in the oven. <laughs> Tighten these down. Now see, here's the kale wool. So I put it down in there, and then slid this down in there too, so they're both tight. And I'll also put this around it. Push down, there we go. Check these out. High temp ceramic caps. Just for something like this. <laughs> oh no. There we go. Alright, let's see if that's any better. I'll plug back in. Now, on that first one, 
There, we're working. Okay, so now we hold the set for two seconds. Keep pushing it, one, two, till we get to auto. AT, you go down to two, and you let it go. Man, see, flashing AT. So, anyone that wants to figure out, now see my, see, we're going real quick. Now see both relays are on too. Green light's on, relays are on. Now watch this. I switch the light off, lights off, relays are off. But the PID's still on. All right, let's order to the 1500. So I hope that helps. Now you know how to put the thermal couple in. I kind of went over the wiring again, to, you know, because that first time I, it has been so long since I wired it, I was kind of rusty on the switch. So I was saying the wrong thing. So I figured I better do this. Since I'm updating everything, let's go over it. All right, thanks for watching. Please like, please comment, share with your friends, subscribe, you know, hit that little bell notification. <laughs> and as always, take it easy.